Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today I will be going through uh, some of the tools that are and were used for data mining in Overwatch or just say exporting stuff so I will go through four things uh, first of all is Overtool and it's GUI made by Yerna and then I will show you the Cask Explorer and Data Tool so first of all, the overtool was used uh, up until the 1.14 update because in the 1.14 update there were uh, STU changes which uh, just made a mess out of everything. Uh, that was the update that added the that match. And before that update, like in summer games and stuff, you could. Um, uh, use our tool to export PTR and uh, normal Overwatch live game uh, data, which led to, led to some leaks and stuff which uh, was unwanted by the Overwatch team. So they decided to uh, uh, change the STUs which messed with the our tool. Uh, if I type just our tool, uh, I can see what uh, commands were available at the time uh, there's a lot of commands and you could uh, export pretty much everything from the game so the syntax would be over tool and then overwatch folder uh, command then export folder and some flags if you wanted uh, that was made a lot easier by the Overwatch, uh, the Overtool GUI, made by Yerna. I made some tutorials on it, but uh, that's all over now until he makes an, uh, a GUI for the new one. So uh, there you could just set the output path with the Overwatch Live or the PTR version, which language you wanted. You also had some converters and everything was really easy uh, if you wanted to ex export some stuff. So after that there was no kind of easy way to export stuff from the game. The only thing you could use was Cask Explorer. Uh, the only thing that uh, Cask Explorer needed to export stuff was the Cask Lib which uh, you could download from the uh, Overwatch model thread v, uh, yeah, V2 or V1, it doesn't really matter. And you would extract the raw data from the game, which meant that the files weren't converted and you had to convert them yourselves. You can still do that, by the way. Uh, so every time a new update comes, you can just download the new cast clip, replace it with the old one and open storage find your overwatch folder and then um, and then you'll be good so you would need to know uh, which folders or which file types were for uh, stuff so like the 0 b2 was for voice lines and uh, on the odev li uh, wiki i'll put a link in the description you could see all the file types and stuff but some of the most used ones were just like uh, 0b2 and like uh, 00c which are models, 006 which are uh, animations, but if we take a look there's a lot of them. So that was a lot of work to do and uh, right now with the data tool uh, everything is made um, easy again. So. Uh, the syntax is the same, you write a uh, data tool instead of over tool and if you do that you'll just uh, find everything that's uh, currently available to you to uh, use, so like all the commands and stuff and you, you use it the same data tool and then overwatch folder path uh, command you want to use and export folder and some flags if you want so yeah, um, but I think uh, it takes a bit longer to export heroes and stuff, like the whole things. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's gonna be it for uh, this video. Uh, I hope this helps you. 
If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the, uh, in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.